I've had a number of Tim Bagger investments in the past, and interestingly, they all had one thing in common. The secret sauce is to be a contrarian and to enter into your position when everyone is convinced they're the next Warren Buffett and gives you the same regurgitated bearish thesis. Remember, you want to be the Chad contrarian, not the normie taking L's. With that said, it takes a lot more than just being a contrarian to secure yourself a 10 bagger. More on that later. But first, I'm sorry to break this news to you, but if you're already seeing videos and Reddit posts titled the next 10 bagger opportunity with thousands of likes and people commenting in agreement, then it's not happening. That stock is not going to the moon, regardless of how many times you beg for it to please fly again. For actual 10 bagger picks, you'll feel like the biggest idiot when buying. It'll be hard to buy because sentiment is generally very negative and people will think you've lost your mind. And you know what? Chances are they're right because if this shit was easy, everyone would be retired chilling on their yachts. Case in point, one of the 10 bagger investments I made was in Intel Leaps that I bought a year ago when it was trading in the 20s. During this time, the common consensus was LOL FAB CONSTRUCTION IS YEARS AWAY! WHY WOULD I BUY NOW WHEN I CAN WAIT? Or LOL INTEL HAS TRASH MANAGEMENT AND THEY'LL CONTINUE TO BE LOSERS. Or NO MORE DIVIDENDS? TOTALLY UNINVESTABLE. I'M OUT. That brings us to Cassava Sciences. I genuinely believe this is the most mispriced stock on the market today. I mean, I've literally thought about this investment for hundreds of hours in the shower, lying on my bed at night, while on walks, while running errands, at work, while driving, while taking a dump, while jerking. <laughs> Never mind, you didn't hear that. But for real, cassava is not only living rent free in my head, but I'm literally and figuratively paying them to live in my head. That said, I'm super excited to back up my bold claim and more importantly, help you develop an edge in life and investing. Even if you have no interest in the company, I believe these lessons are timeless and can be applied to endless other scenarios. So strap in and prepare yourselves because your brain will for sure be bigger by the end, I promise. First, you should probably watch the intro video for some context and background. I've linked this in the description. I'm regarded, and this is not financial advice. An important question I've often asked myself is, if this has the potential to be one of the best selling pharmaceutical product of all time, why isn't Wall Street and the general market pricing in this outcome? My conclusion I've arrived at is actually really simple. It's because a safe and effective Alzheimer's drug literally do not exist and has never existed. Despite the billions upon billions poured into the research and development in this field. So the market automatically assumes cassava will join the graveyard of failed Alzheimer's drugs. If cassava's drug is approved, and I am not exaggerating, it will literally be one of the biggest black swan events in biotech history, given that Alzheimer's is one of the largest unmet medical needs in the world. The market is clearly not prepared or positioned for it, similar to how it wasn't prepared for 2020. I mean, just ask Achman how much he made on credit default swaps. To expand on this, I think the market is generally complacent and maybe rightfully so. I mean, the odds are overwhelmingly in their favor to short based on historic results. Moreover, it's important to stress that Wall Street loves repeatable, backtested statistics and uses that data as one of the main drivers for investment decisions. From their view, using backtested historical data, you make money shorting 999 out of 1000 Alzheimer's drugs. Those are pretty good odds, objectively speaking. I mean, think about it. If you were an analyst on Wall Street, would you want to stick your neck out to recommend cassava, knowing that you'd potentially be risking your career? Probably not, right? And here's the thing, it actually goes a level deeper. Let me explain. It's quite fascinating, actually, from an evolutionary perspective. 
If something has never happened before, I believe our base natural instinct is to believe it won't happen. Even if the data that suggests otherwise is staring us right in the eyes. A perfect example of this is Feb 2020 when China went into lockdown. At that point, it wasn't exactly a secret by any means. There were plenty of media exposure on the event, and yet the market was ignoring this as it kept climbing towards all-time highs. I believe the situation is applicable to cassava today. The general market is ignoring Kasawa's unprecedented safety and efficacy clinical phase 2 results. It's much easier for the human psyche to make up reasons to justify why it won't succeed, as opposed to the alternative, because it literally has never happened before. It's been scientifically proven that the pain of losing is psychologically twice as powerful as the pleasure of gaining the same amount. So how does this relate to cassava? I mean, just look at the chart. It's been on a downtrend for over three years now. As humans, we are naturally programmed to hate losing and it's hella painful. Now imagine losing for three straight years while looking out the window to see that the overall market and NASDAQ is pumping to all-time highs. I can tell you, it don't feel too good. Psychologically, it's not easy to continue to be invested in something that is losing value over three years straight. I'll be honest, despite my hundreds of hours of research giving me a strong conviction, holding this shit is still mentally taxing as fuck. Now, if that's how I feel, I would imagine most would have felt this as well, and many would have paper-handed the stock by now. Therefore, my intuition and belief is that right now is likely close to the bottom, because the weak paper hands and pump chasers are all gone by now. The small amount of people left that have stuck around these past three years aren't likely to paper-hand their shares now especially being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel regarding phase 3 results. From a multi-bagger setup perspective, this is ideal because sentiment is near all-time lows. This prolonged base combined with high short interest and potentially black swan news on trial results is the perfect setup for an explosive move if the company is able to shock the market with positive phase 3 results, much like how Tesla shocked the market in 2020. As humans, we are literally hardwired to be pessimistic and to play it safe. I mean, think about it. During our hunter-gatherer days, if you came across a fruit that you weren't sure was safe, in this scenario, the pessimists who chose not to eat it survived to pass on their genes. Because, well, I think we know what happened to the optimists. RIP. A great example related to this concept is NVIDIA's Moon mission in this past year. In my opinion, at a high level without going into the details, the simplified explanation for the price pump is simply that Wall Street was pessimistic on NVIDIA projections, and NVIDIA shocked them quarter after quarter. Given the graveyard of Alzheimer's treatment failures and the already high risk of biotechs, it's only natural that people and institutions are skeptical, in spite of their unprecedented clinical results and safety profile to date. If you add on the lawsuits and government investigations, it significantly increases people's level of doubt. I mean, think about it. We know humans instinctively have a strong preference for pessimism. Right now, it is so easy to dismiss cassava because there's so many unknowns, and I believe that is reflected in the low share price. To put simply, the market is not prepared and positioned for a positive event, and this event isn't a small one. I mean, we're talking potentially one of the best selling drugs of all time, and I'm not even exaggerating. That's why a 10-bagger is easily in the cards, and I genuinely mean that. No clickbait. That's actually being super conservative. Trust me, the irony of me saying that is not lost on me. I totally get how crazy that sounds. That's how special and rare I think this opportunity and setup is. Again, this is not financial advice. If you YOLO into this without doing your own DD, stop it. Get some help. You may actually be more regarded than me 
and I'm up there. Trust me, this isn't the situation where you want first place.